Plum. Thank you all for joining us today. How did you like the steel drums coming in this morning? We'll talk more about them in just a minute, but they were an awesome, awesome group. So welcome. Happy first day of spring. How in the world did it get so cold today? It's supposed to be warm, right? Kind of disappointing, but I do love that the sun is shining bright. It is my sincere pleasure to welcome you to our 2024-25 Teacher and Employee of the Year Luncheon. Thank you for taking the time to come out and celebrate our very own Pitt County Schools Teacher nominees and our Employee of the Year winners. Nominees and Employee of the Year winners, we're so proud of you to gather here to recognize the acts of dedication that you have provided for all of our students. Each school year brings joy as it is challenging and throughout each transition, you stayed focused on serving students. And for that, we are wholeheartedly and sincerely saying thank you today. Today is all about you. Keeping within the spirit of gratitude, I would also like to recognize our donors and our sponsors who have extended their appreciation for a job well done by our honorees. Please join me in reading our list of donors on the back of your program. Starting out with special thanks to Farm Bureau of Pitt County. Our event contributors were A1 Awards and Promotions, ECU Athletic Tickets Department, First Watch, Grady White Boats Incorporated, Great Harvest Bread Company, Mark Three, Merle Norman Spa, Nothing Bunt Cakes, Olive Garden, Pactola Steel, Steel Drum Van, Parrot Canvas Company, Pitt County Educational Foundation, Principals and Assistant Principals Association, Rock Spring Center, Shane Robinson and Associates, the Fresh Market, and Walmart. Can you please give a round of applause to all of our donors? <laughs> PCS is very fortunate to have so many generous businesses, organizations, and individuals in our community. I would like to take this time now to show special recognition to some of the people here that are here with us today. So as I call your name, would you please stand? Our event sponsor and partners in education, Farm Bureau of Pitt County, Farm Bureau Committee. Would you please stand? Thank you so much for your support. Um, also sponsors and partners for us with this event is Pitt County Education Foundation, Beth Olfers. Shane Robinson and Andrew Cooper of Robinson and Associates. <laughs> Ashley Bell, representing Principals and Assistant Principals Association. <laughs> and all of our winners today will receive gifts, um, which are located on the back table, and we'll talk about that later on in the program. Another special group that is here with us today as well, and we're thrilled to have them, is the PCS Community Steel Drum Band. Please share a round of applause for their <laughs> performance today. This band was formed in 2001 by the Pactolis Band Director, Laura O'Neill. Ms. O'Neill, would you please stand? She had a vision to provide students from Pactolis and other schools in the county um, the opportunity to learn and play the steel drums. Joining us today are her students from North Pitt, J.H. Rose, and PCS Early College at ECU. Thank you students for your performance today. The band um, plays all genres of music, but mostly sticks to traditional um, steel band tunes. We will have the pleasure of hearing more from Miss O'Neill and her um, band uh, this afternoon while we're eating lunch. They will play the tunes of Luna Lena, Halo, 
rant and rave, and pan by storm and Tobago. You can visit um, Pactolas to hear more of their drums at their global festival on March the 21st, as well as their spring concert on May the 14th. Let's give them another round of applause. Okay, so now it is lunch time. Uh, but before we partake in a delicious meal prepared by Rock Springs, let's take a moment to reflect on gratefulness. Please join me for a moment of silence on how fortunate we are as individuals and as a school district. Thank you. So at this time, Rock Spring staff will direct us on the release of the tables for the buffet. So please enjoy your meal as you listen to our band play more music. And I'll be back right after lunch. Thank you. How was lunch? Great, great. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Thank you, um, Table 8. I had to go check on them, and they said that all is well, okay? So everything's fine on Table 8. Um, so before we begin our presentations of our nominees and our finalists, um, I would like to recognize more special people in, that are in attendance with us. So if you haven't finished your lunch, please continue to do so. But at the same time, there are some people that we would like to recognize. And as I recognize you, would you please stand so that the rest of the people in the audience can see who you are? Um, first of all, I'd like to recognize the families of our employees in our um, Employee of the Year winners, our Teacher of the Year nominees, as well as our fi finalists. So everyone that is here supporting a nominee or a finalist or a winner, would you please stand, family member? I would also like to recognize our principals. Thank you for your support, your attendance today, and all of the actions that you've taken to support our teachers, our staff, and our students. Principals or assistant principals or directors, would you please stand? Our Teacher of the Year Selection Committee, they invested the time and the work and the review of the portfolios as well as the classroom observations and the interviews and the numerous hours of collaboration. Teacher of the Year Selection Committee, would you please stand? And I would also like to thank our Board of Education members. Thank you so much for your continued support for our students and our district. Board members, if you would please stand. So um, we have a luncheon speaker this afternoon. And as I speak about our luncheon speaker, she can go ahead and start coming this way. Um, this afternoon, our current 2023-24 Teacher of the Year winner and National Millican Educator Award recipient is Ms. Ainsley Benz-Buskirk. Um, she will come forward to share a special message with us. During her tenure as Teacher of the Year, she has exemplified herself as a genuine, committed, and professional educator. And in her presentation, you will see some of that. We are proud of her advocacy and her support for students in our district as well as our community. Please help me give her a warm welcome, Ms. Ainsley Vince Busker. Good morning. What an amazing journey this past year has been. With being named Teacher of the Year for the 2023-2024 school year, I've received many opportunities beyond what I ever imagined. I remember sitting in the audience last year 
at the infamous table eight, to be exact, <laughs> when my name was called. My predecessor, the amazing Matt Daniel, looked at me and said something along the lines of, if you ain't ready, get ready. <laughs> I had no idea what was in store for me. I would like to very briefly share a few of my experiences from this past year. I've gotten the opportunity to serve on the Pitt County Educational Foundation as a member and on the Community Outreach Committee. I've had the chance to witness how the partnerships with businesses and community members positively impact Pitt County Schools. I've also had the opportunity to work alongside the amazing Beth Olfers and Ms. Pat Clark, a few good people. I'm a member of the Northeast Teacher Leadership Council, which is a group comprised of district teachers of the year. I have the opportunity to work with educators from counties such as Martin, Washington, Beaufort, and highlight educators from our very own district. During one of our sessions, we were able to collaborate with and give insight to some pre-service teachers at ECU. We were also recognized by the State Board of Education. In August, I had the opportunity to be a keynote speaker at the Summer Leadership Conference. I was terrified. <laughs> and I was also, if you remember, incredibly pregnant. I stood in front of senior leadership, administration, curriculum, program specialists, and directors, and I shared a message about how our beliefs shape our thoughts, influence our words, and impact our actions. I did my first ever podcast with Beth Olfers, Tom McClellan, and Reed Potts. I was able to speak on things that I hold near and dear to my heart, like dual language, being a product of Pitt County Schools, and my experiences with giving my doll CFAs as a child. <laughs> that podcast was a really good time. Highly recommend. I was able to see and hear about the phenomenal work being done in our county by serving on the Teacher of the Year, Principal of the Year, and Assistant Principal of the Year selection panel alongside some of the county's absolute finest. I currently serve on the Superintendent Teacher Leadership Council. This council gives teachers a voice to provide input and feedback on educational issues and serves as a professional development opportunity as well. My proudest opportunity was participating in the extra yard for teachers at the ECU at football game. It was so surreal standing on the field of my alma mater now as an educator. My most recent and probably the most delicious opportunity was sitting and talking with the Farm Bureau committee members. We are so incredib incredibly grateful and thankful for everything you do to support Pitt County Schools. Our world ran white. Get ready. I'm so thankful for all the opportunities and the platform that serving as Pitt County Schools Teacher of the Year has given me. Overall, I've had the chance to collaborate with and learn from some amazing educators and Pitt County Schools stakeholders. To this year's nominees, congratulations. And if no one has told you today, thank you. Thank you for your dedication to shaping minds and inspiring our future leaders. Thank you for your unwavering commitment to our students and their success. I am privileged to stand amongst you and I'm so excited to see what opportunities present themselves to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Van Buskirk. She is so, so sweet and a humble spirit. And if you hadn't had a chance to speak to her one-on-one, -on -one, you have to. And go in her class, dynamic. I'm scared of kindergartners. And when I had a chance to go in there and see what she does with them, oh my, it's amazing. It is very amazing. So this afternoon, I would like to do a special presentation for our beginning teacher of the year. Um, some of you may not be familiar with the process for the beginning teacher of the year, and I would like to take a brief time um, to explain that process. 
The North Carolina Center for Advancement of Teachers, also known as NCAT, um, is a North Carolina-based organization that supports teachers and impacts students with high quality professional development. Recently, NCAT announced their Empower Beginning Teacher of the Year Award. The mission of this program is to pay tribute and retain beginning teachers who demonstrate distinctive excellence and promise in the public school teaching profession. Eligibility and portfolio requirements include successful completion of the first year teaching in a North Carolina public school and completion of a second year employment within the same school district along with two completed essays by the nominees. Last fall, our district selection process that was supervised by Ms. Courtney Atkins, beginning teacher support coordinator, named Cameron Story, an exceptional children's teacher at E.B. Acock Middle School as Pitt County School's beginning teacher of the year. Ms. Story's innovation and ability to inspire students landed her as one of the 27 finalists across the state. Today, we want to honor her and on, and recognize her well-deserved achievement with a special presentation on behalf of the district and an additional surprise presentation as well. Please help me, Dr. Linker and Ms. Atkins, there she is, um, to celebrate our Pitt County Schools 2024 NCAT Empower Beginning Teacher of the Year finalist, Cameron Story. Ms. Story, would you please come forward? So as Dr. Rohn mentioned, we have a special surprise for Cameron. So at this time, if Dr. Lisa Rogerson and Mrs. Olivia Salter would please join us. So these two wonderful women reached out early this year, hoping to award our beginning teacher of the year with a special gift. This gift is in honor of Judy Plymail. Judy dedicated her life to education with her passion being teaching and advocating for those with special needs. In her 40-year career as an educator, she worked in multiple roles, including an EC resource teacher, speech pathologist, audiologist, director of exceptional children, and superintendent for the Governor Moorhead School. She was an active member of the Alpha Iota chapter of Alpha Delta Kappa from the time she joined in 2018 until her passing in 2022. She had the greatest respect for educators and it would make her so happy to know that her legacy was continuing to support new teachers. Cameron, we are honored to award you $500 check to be used in your classroom. Congratulations. And Olivia Salter is Judy's daughter. Okay, Dr. Linker, you're going to have to stay here because now it's time to do the presentation of our 2024 Teacher of the Year nominees. Um, so, Teacher of the Year, if you would please stand and come to the left side of the room by lining up. Um, we ask that you please go ahead and stand up, and um, our HR staff will help you line up um, in the order in which you will receive your plaques. As the Teacher of the Year um, are lining up, I will just share with you that each of them will receive a plaque 
They will also be able to take a picture with Dr. Linker and also with Robert May. If you would please come forward, Mr. May, with Farm Bureau. I would like to call um, attention to some special people in the room that you've probably seen kind of floating around, taking pictures and setting up microphones. Um, our photographer and our videographer, Kate Koslipova, thank you so very much for your help with this. And our digital media um, communication specialists today are Stephen Summerell and Jeremiah Barnes. Thank you so very much for your support today. Okay, so are we ready, HR team? All right, so in just a few minutes, I'm going to call out names. Um, the nominee will step forward. They will receive a plaque, and they will take a picture with Dr. Linker and Mr. May. Um, and I think that's all of the instructions that you need so far. So we'll go ahead and begin with our very first nominee. Jacqueline Hobbs, A.G. Cox Middle School. <laughs> Nikki Bowen, Aiden Middle, excuse me, Aiden Elementary. <laughs> Elizabeth Wooten, Aiden Middle School. David Byram, Aiden Grifton High School. <laughs> Stephen Seyfried, Belvoir Elementary School. Christy Singleton, Bethel School. <laughs> Ashley Burns, CM Epps Middle School. <laughs> Terry Turner, Chicago School. Lisa Taylor, Creekside Elementary. <laughs> Jackie Horton, D.H. Conley High School. <laughs> Stephen Emery, E.B. Acock Middle. Lakeisha Clemens, Early College High at PCC. <laughs> Travis Such, Eastern Elementary School. Marjorie Fillmore, Elmer's Elementary School. Sarah Anderson, Falkland Elementary School.
Brian Laney, Farmville Central High School. Yidra Dodd, Farmville Middle School. Kara Snyder, GR Whitfield School. Shuri Harper, Grifton School. Cassie Ellis, H.B. Sugg Elementary. Arthur Nava, Hope Middle School. Kiara Higgins, Innovation Early College High School at ECU. <laughs> Kurt Garner, J.H. Rose High School. <laughs> Lachelle Williams, Lake Forest Elementary School. Leslie Buck, North Pitt High School. <laughs> Renisha Brown Moore, Northwest Elementary School. <laughs> Samuel Tripp, Pactola School. Sheena Parker, Ridgewood Elementary. Shawanda Holloway, Sadie Salter Educational Center. Shannon Edwards, Sam D. Bundy Elementary School. James Callahan, South Central High School. Amy McCarter, South Greenville Elementary School. Hannah Wellam, Stokes School. Jessica Mullen, Virtual Academy. <laughs> Tim Wallen, W.H. Robinson Elementary School. <laughs> Amber Owens, Walcoats Elementary School. Rachel Cadasso, Welcome Middle School. <laughs> Pamela Day, Wintergreen Intermediate School. <laughs> Kimberly Steed, Wintergreen Primary School.
let's give a round of applause to all of our nominees. In just a few minutes, we will um, talk about our finalists. But before that time, Mr. Buck will come forward and do our presentation of our classified employees. Good afternoon. Uh, one of the things we always uh, enjoy highlighting at this luncheon is an opportunity to honor our Classified Employee of the Year winners. Our classified employees are, of course, an integral uh, building block uh, of talent and hard work that positively impact our students and the overall success of each school and our school system as a whole. So it's my pleasure to lead us uh, in a celebration of them uh, this year. So prepare to meet our 24-25 Classified Employee of the Year winners in this video. What I love most about my job is when I get up early in the morning, God get me up early in the morning, knowing that I'm going to see some of these kids' sweet faces on the bus, and then you're going to carry on in the cafeteria. That's what I love most about my job, seeing these smiley faces day in, day out. When you love what you do, it's not a job. I love it. I love the reaction from the children. I love my morning duty. I get hugs and we play and dance in the hall in the mornings. And it's really rewarding when you get children that come from third or fourth grade and bring you notes of how much they are thankful for you and how much they love you. And it just makes my heart smile to feel that I help bring positive to this cruel world for them because they have a hard world as it is, and if I can be a speck of sunshine and, and guidance, I am blessed with that. My favorite thing every day would be coming in in the morning and right before I get ready to pull my breakfast trash, when I come through the cafeteria, the pre-K class is sitting out, and they're all yelling, and they're doing their little finger waves, and they're, Miss Coco, Miss Coco, hey, there's Miss Coco, there's Miss Coco. So I love to um, be greeted by them every morning. They, they, they always put a smile on my face. Um, it's just a good day when I see those guys. They, they, they make me real happy, and they're all so small and cute. <laughs> Because I love serving the kids and knowing they get one good meal per day makes me happy. And just to see them smile and be appreciative and thankful every morning. And at lunch, it's great. It put a smile on my face. It does my heart good. I love my job because I get to wake up every morning knowing that I get to come to a place where I could pour into the lives of the students and the families that we have here. And to know that they get to experience different things that they may not normally have been able to experience. I love working with the administration that I have under the leadership of Mr. Ty Mac Willis and Ms. LaShawn DeMay. They allow me to use my creative juices and they, for the most part, say just go for it because they know that our children need to be poured into. So I love it. I love, you know, the leeway that they give me. You know, I think we have some of the sweetest children this side of heaven. So to be able to go down the hallways and experience hugs from them all day, every day, knowing that you know our children are not just going to survive when they leave us, they're gonna thrive and they're gonna have memories of being at Northwest and things that they can carry on. So I, I just, I love what I do. I love impacting not just our students, but our families and working with them as they come in and helping them to feel a part of you know Northwest, not just in their classroom, but as as a whole, and so it's a joint partnership between us and the families and our students, and I, and I love it. But each of these winners um, serve in vital positions throughout our school that help keep the doors open and students safe and keeps everything running, um, while these wonderful teachers are are trying to teach them so much. Um, these, they act also as positive role models throughout the school and in front of students to instill pride and love and stability in those students every day. So we're very proud to honor them this morning. Um, at this time, I will announce each winner and ask them to come forward as I call their name. Each winner will receive a plaque and take a picture with Dr. Linker and Mr. Robert May. So I'll ask them to join us up here at this time. 
First, our custodian of the year is Coquitha Barnes from Lake Forest Elementary. Our Office Employee of the Year is Gwendolyn Barnes from Northwest Elementary. Our Teacher Assistant of the Year is Regina Chapel from H.B. Sugg Elementary. Our School Nutrition Employee of the Year is Anna Howell from Aiden Middle School. And our School Nutrition Assistant Manager of the Year is Jacqueline Blunt from D.H. Conley High School. Let's give another hand to all of our classified employees and these winners, employees of the year. So I had a video to show too, but before I even attempt to say we're gonna look at the video, I'll stop and ask. Is it okay to move forward? Okay, so um, before we begin um, announcing our Teacher of the Year finalists, I would like to share a special video with you that allows you to see firsthand as to what they do and why they love teaching for students. I love my job because I get to teach students skills that they can use for the rest of their lives, so it's very fulfilling when I get to see them use those skills in an FBLA competition, in their work, or when they get to college. Um, I love doing what I do because I get to work with kids that a lot of people don't think can do great things. I work with children with severe intellectual disabilities, and these kids are not given a lot of opportunities. In my classroom, they are. Um, I think everyone can learn. It's not just working with these kids, it's seeing all of their typically developing peers come in and learning from them and seeing the great things that they can do. And that just inspires me every day just to do everything and to be the best that I can be for these kids. I love my job because I get to support students in not only exploring their academic abilities, but also their opportunity knowledge. So helping them get their grades from a 2.0 GPA to a 3.0 GPA, and then exposing them to programs such as the Early College Program or Health Science Academy or Brody Rise so that they can pursue those opportunities once they leave middle school. My favorite part about coming here every day is that I get to work with students throughout their three years of middle school, so I get to watch them grow from being a shy sixth grader coming in to leaving as a teenager who knows what they want to do in eighth grade or going into high school. The children, of course, I get to teach children and everybody can learn but children make intuitive leaps and that is so cool to see when all of a sudden everything pops into place and they take five steps ahead when adults would only take one. I love seeing that. But another reason I love my job is the people I get to work with. I'm a musician and we're artists and there's so many factors that go into creating a piece of music from the cultural to the historical to the technical to the artistic. And I love hanging out with musicians, but I see the same thing happen in teachers. They have to combine so many things from the cultural to the historical to the content to the technical to the psychological. Teachers are artists, and I love hanging out with artists. Congratulations. Um, so, without further ado, at this time, we would like to present our 2024-25 Teacher of the Year finalists. Finalists, as I call your name, would you please stand? 
Miss Rachel Condasso. Mr. Stephen Emery. Mr. Kurt Garner. And Mr. Arthur, Arthur Nava. Thank you, finalists. Dr. Linker and Ms. Dixon. Chairwoman, if you would please come forward, and we would like to present to you our Teacher of the Year runner-up by Dr. Linker, and the presentation of our Teacher of the Year by Ms. Dixon. Good afternoon. It's um, always a great day we can do this. This just event is just awesome. Special thanks to uh, Farm Bureau, um, who does so much for Pitt County Schools, uh, makes this possible, our principal of the year function possible, all the businesses on the back of this, uh, th this brochure, the, the, the program. You know, I've said this, you know, for like every year I've been here, I guess this might be my last, but, but um, uh, this doesn't happen everywhere. You know, I think I've actually said that every time I give a speech, okay? This doesn't happen everywhere, okay? It takes a special place and special community members like we have here in Pitt County to make a function like this the way it is and to bring everybody together. So for that, I, I thank uh, all the community members, especially Farm Bureau for stepping up every year to help us out. Thanks to um, the, H the uh, HR staff for putting on a great uh, program, getting it organized. And to Dr. Roan, this is definitely her last one of these, at least uh, at least for one year, unless we can hire her back. Where'd you go? Right here. Okay, all right. So uh, we're going to certainly miss her um, as she goes to her ne next uh, place of employment, um, just in great stuff. So, oh, I got it right here. Okay. Uh, Keystone, good gravy. They wouldn't tell me, because they, they never trust me, so here we go. All right, so the 24-25 the Runner-Up Teacher of the Year is Mr. Stephen Emery, <laughs> E.B. Acock. Thank you. Pitt County is an amazing place, and this is my home. Um, my mom would always quote two verses from me, and um, I think that's why I'm a teacher. She said, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pitchers of silver. So I'd always try to give the right word at the right time for my students. And the second thing she would tell me is that the power of life and death is in the tongue. And I always try to speak life into my students. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Wanda Dixon, and I'm the chairperson for the Pitt County Farm Bureau uh, and Women's Board and Women's Committee. We're proud and very thankful for the opportunity to sponsor and celebrate the Teacher of the Year Award luncheon. And to all the teachers and support staff, we thank you for all you do to educate and prepare our students, young people, for the future that they're going to carry for our country. Uh, now, the time that you have all been waiting for, our 2024-2025 Teacher of the Year is Rachel Condesso. Um, I'm very ill-equipped for this. I feel like I just won a state championship. Um, <laughs> but 
I've only been a teacher for four years, but in those four years, I've dedicated so much time, so much effort into building not only Welcome Middle School back from the pandemic, but to build the Middle School AVID program. And this just really goes to show all the hard work not only I have been putting in, but my students, Miss Avery, Mr. Neal, this is amazing. And I wish I had something so much more deeper to say for you, but I am in shock and I'm so grateful for this. And this is just the next step for great things to come for AVID and for Welcome. So just keep an eye out on North of the River. We are going to continue to win. A shout out to our girls basketball team. Um, but thank you, everyone. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Okay, congratulations, nominees, our winners, our finalists, congratulations to you all. So how was today? Pretty good, right? Well, we'll bring it to a close, and most of you have to go back to work. So for those of you who do not, please enjoy the rest of the day. So thank you for coming. Um, in the coming week, we will release a link of a recorded um, event so you can watch it online. Um, so Teacher of the Year finalists, winners, and nominees, please see an HRT member as you exit. You'll receive some gifts from our um, donors. And HRT members will be located at the, um, at the table at the back of the room. Um, before we end, HR staff, would you please stand for a second? I just want you guys to just see and thank these people right here who have done all the work today. Thank you, HRT members. So everyone else, um, please enjoy the photo booth over there and take some uh, memories of today if you can. But with the following people before you exit the building, with the following people, please stay around for some more pictures. Um, our Farm Bureau members, our beginning Teacher of the Year winner, our Teacher of the Year winner, Teacher of the Year runner-up, Employee of the Year winners, and each of the principals, directors, or supervisors of the finalists and runner-ups. And to everyone else, I bid you a great week and a wonderful weekend. Please enjoy your first day of spring. Thank you for coming.